Yeah, here we are at the last round of the U.S. Sprint uh, Series. Um, overall, decent weekend. Um, kind of struggled a little bit yesterday, but uh, finally found some groove today and was battling for some test wins and uh, battling for second overall for the day. Um, Lane's pretty pretty strong at these, man. He rides really well, so it's kind of like a battle for second between a couple of us. So I enjoy it, and uh, yeah, this format's super cool. Um, I really enjoy the format and um, always like these kind of races. So. Um, yeah, just uh, overall, good weekend. I think uh, in the end of the weekend, third um, overall, you know, Johnny's really good in the Pro 2 class, so he was uh, stepped it up this weekend. And um, Yeah, bummer that the series is over, but uh, going to enjoy summer break. 2022 is kind of up in the air for me, uh, as in, in rides, so um, just uh, having fun, enjoying it while I can. But, you know, if the opportunity is there, I definitely would be back. Uh, I think Billy does a really good job laying out the courses and stuff. and. Um, really enjoy the enduro test. He makes them kind of wide so you can uh, have a bunch of different lines. It just doesn't funnel everybody into the same line. So, um, yeah, if the opportunity is there, I'd love to come back. Some uh, some lines got developed and it was kind of fun. You always had to be on your toes and always had to go out and check out what was going on. And, um, you know, when it's close racing like that, you always got to find that second. So, um, yeah, this weekend it was, uh, you could lose, lose five seconds or gain two. So it was uh, pretty cool. I enjoyed this weekend for sure. This place was slick yesterday. And now, uh, you know, we got some rain yesterday evening and then it was misting all morning. So I was a little worried, but until I went out and cycled the enduro test this morning and it was still dusty in the woods, it was crazy. And um, yeah, it was uh, actually turned out to be really well. Like it kept the dust down for a while. And um, yeah, this place held the, held the rain really well. A little bit. Uh, then you're gonna come back across the grass again, dropping in on a little steep hill there into the trees and uh, kind of come up through the trees here for about an eighth of a mile and come into the finish line. Have a good time. off a little rough because uh, I was here running the six days tires and I haven't really been riding on them so they call, they're DOT approved so like you can run them on the street and stuff they just don't have as many side knobbies so like all the side cornering on like all the off cameras out here it's just like super slick so you only have you know ha like literally half the side knobby so you just can't quite get on the side of them you kind of have to ride your bike like straight up and down to get traction really it's it was a little struggle at first to kind of get used to the turning because there's so many off cameras here so tires kind of make a, a huge difference here but uh started off a little rough just kind of working my way getting comfortable and um the first day i actually struggled in the enduro test because uh the line choice i just couldn't quite get my lines down couldn't find the fast ones so after the first day i went and and walked the enduro test, just found some really good lines and then came out the second day and, and felt a lot better. Honestly, we got a little bit of rain overnight, so the first cross test was sweet. It wasn't too slick. It was just nice and tacky in most of the spots, but that was pretty perfect. And then um, just kind of got a lot more comfortable today, a lot better line choice in the enduro test. So that really like helped out tremendously. So feeling a lot better in the woods and just, just a lot more comfortable overall. Great weekend.
know, we had a good battle all weekend, so just happy to be on the board.